here in this video we are going to see the working principle of steam power plant or thermal power plant they are nothing but the energy generating stations in which the heat energy of cold combustion will be converted into electrical energy so you can see here the schematic arrangements for steam power plant in which coals or fuels are the basic or essential requirements for the production of electrical energy in these plants in from the cold storage plants or cold storage regions the coal will be directly entered into the coal handling plants where at the region of coal handling plants the entered coal will be get pulverized pulverized means the coal will be crushed into small pieces and it will become like a powdered pieces and this powdered pieces will be able to improve the entire efficiency of this steam power plant so that the pulverized coal will be here at the boiler and from the economizer region some feed water will directly enter into this boiler the water will contains some heat so this hot water from the economizer entered into this boiler in addition to this some air from the atmosphere absorbed by the air preheater and at the region of air preheater the flue gases will starts the journey from this furnace or the boiler after the combustion uh, through the superheater and economizer through the air preheater and finally entered to the chimney and they will directly thrown out to the atmosphere from this chimney and during this way of the moment of this flue gases at the region of air preheater the heat energy of this flue gases will get absorbed by this air preheater and air from this atmosphere will be get heated by this air preheater by using the heat energy from this flue gases and this hot air from this air preheater will flows from there to the boiler so the pulverized coal and the feed water and hot air will be here at the boiler and the combustion of this coal will lead to the formation of steam energy or some heat energy in this boiler and this heat energy or the steam is not exactly wet wetted so in order to make it wet or dried this steam energy will directly entered into the preheater preheaters are the regions where the steam energy will get dried and get superheated this superheated steam energy from the superheater directly entered to the turbines and at the turbine blades the steam energy of the car will be get converted into the mechanical energy and the shaft of the turbine will be directly coupled to the alternator and hence the alternator will rotates and the mechanical energy of this turbine will converted into the electrical energy at the region of alternator and it will get directly entered into the bus bar through some transformers isolators and some other circuit breakers like protective devices and we can use the electrical power from this bus bars okay so uh, during this time after the combustion there will be some ashes and this ashes will be collected by the ash handling plants and from this ash handling plants the ash will be get dispersed by the ash storage regions okay and during the combustion it will be leads to the formation of some smoke and some other flue gases and this will flows through the superheaters and to the economizers and uh, economizers are the regions which will improve or increase 
the energy of water okay for this we can simply understand that at the region of turbine the steam uh, at the turbine will get exhausted into this condenser and this steam will be get condensed by means of cold water cold water which will be coming from this cooling tower that can be a pond or a lake or some kind of a river or something like that so the cold water from this cooling tower will be condensed the steams at this condenser and this condensed or condensed this condensed water or the condensate will directly entered into this economizer and at this economizer we know that the flue gases will go through the superheaters and the economizers and the air preheaters to the chimney and directly to the atmosphere and at this region of economizers some heat energy of the flue gases will be absorbed by this economizer and using this heat the feed water sorry the condensate from this condenser or the condensed water from this region will also get heated at the region of economizer in addition to this they will absorb some water or they will receive some water from the water source and this water will also get heated at the economizer by using the heat energy of the flue gases and the hot water will be directly entered into the boiler during the combustion of this uh, cord okay this is the basic working principle here the cord will be get first pulverized and the pulverized cord will enter into this boiler and at the boiler some feed water and some hot air will come from the air preheater and the combustion of this coal with the presence of this feed water and this hot air will lead to the formation of large amount of heat or steam energy and the generated steam contains some dirt in order to make it wet this steam will be directly entered into the superheater where it will get heated with a very high temperature and this heated steam will directly enter to the turbine and at this turbine the mechanical energy is generated from the steam energy and it will be directly entered into the alternator and we will get the electrical energy from this alternator this is the basic working principle of a steam power plant the and overall efficiency if we uh, want to know the overall efficiency of the steam power plant it is very less when compared with the hydroelectric power plant or some other uh, nuclear power plant or other diesel power plant we can see that the overall efficiency of the steam power plant is very very less almost 30 percentage can be the efficiency of the steam power plant and if we go into the advantage of the steam power plant is that the basic requirement is coal you know that the coal is very cheap and the initial cost will be very high very less when compared with the other uh, generating stations and it requires very less space when compared with other stations and the cost will be very entire cost will be very less okay and uh, some disadvantages will be there in the case it will pollute the atmosphere we know that during the combustion it will create some smokes or some kinds of flue gases and this will be directly given into the atmosphere from this chimney so this will pollute the atmosphere this is the major disadvantage and uh, running cost will be very high okay these are the ba basic uh, disadvantage of this steam power plant okay these are the main things about the steam power plant i think you got got it okay thank you